What is up YouTube? It is your boy Sniggerhead Pack coming to you with another retro review. I'm sure you saw from the title, you know what it is. Picked up those cement fives. That size nine, you see it? The colorway on the box, we got white, university, red, and black. And this is the cement fives. Well, if you're living in the country, the cement fives. And like everything else lately, these are sitting hard. I did do a, a vlog yesterday in the mall check that out if you haven't already i'll put the link somewhere up there and i'm not surprised they were sitting man everything is i'm now surprised if things sell out like we used to be surprised if things were sitting but now it's just a surprise if anything sells out that's not you know adidas or something crazy limited but yeah let's get into that review boom the air jordan cement fives it is a clean shoe I think it's a it's a pretty good shoe for back to school for anybody that's still in school. Uh, it's something simple, not hard to to throw on with a, a fit. I feel like it, it can easily match with anything. A lot of people have, I guess, a gripe with the, the tongue. I don't disagree with that. I feel like there's some kind of disconnect with the tongue being black, outlined in red. Uh, obviously, it doesn't bother me that much. I think overall it's still a good looking shoe. I'm not sure if it should be gray or it should be, I don't know, it's something off at first look, but the more you actually look at it, it looks completely normal. Uh, something else I, I did think though, um, if this were to be gray, it may slightly be too close to like the Fire Red Fives. I was just comparing them earlier and it's just so much of a similar shoe, man. Uh, if you were to make that tongue gray, I feel like people just wouldn't have that much of a reason to buy it, man. It's just so similar to it. Um, but even though that being the case, man, there's still a few things I would change about it. Uh, one thing is this netting right here. Uh, you can see it's a white netting. I wish it was clear. Uh, I wish it was that icy netting that we're used to seeing, you know, kind of like you see on this Fire Red 5. I think that would have looked slightly better. And I will say I, I do wish the tongue was like a, a gray but with the speckles on it so it's not like your typical gray tongue that we're used to seeing. The tongue does have 3M on it so that is a good look. The part I like best of all about the shoe, to be honest, is the back of it. Sometimes like shoes like this, even though they're simple, sometimes it's the small things that win me over and that's it man. I feel like it just brings it out. If this would have been a black jump man, I probably wouldn't even have, have thought about picking it up. But yeah, man, other than that, you got those icy blue bottoms with the red Jumpman on the bottom. Insole, not that we really care about that, but insole is black with the red Jumpman. You, well, you can't even see it, but who cares? Black sock liner on the back of the tongue. It is red, and it says Air Jordan upside down, like usual. What else? What else? I do like the, the cement on the uh, eyelets at the top. I think that was a nice touch to it. Uh, but yeah, man, everything looks clean. Quality is actually better than I thought it would be. It kind of caught me off guard. Uh, it's, it's a lot softer than I thought it would be. From the look of it, it looks like it's that stiff cardboard leather. But when you actually feel it, um, there's like some, some real softness, softness to it. It's not like a tumbled leather, but it's more like a, I guess, a full grain leather. But overall, man, it's just kind of soft at touch. Clear lace lock holder in your red lace lock. And that's about it, man. Uh, like I said, if I could change anything, it might be the tongue and it would definitely be this netting right here. I don't think I've seen a, a Jordan 5 with white netting on it. I, I think that's a new one for me. But overall, it doesn't look bad. It's still, it's still a good looking shoe. Still a solid pickup, and like I said, it's a good shoe to pick up if you're going back to school. I was thinking about doing like a top five kicks for going back to school. Uh, let me know down below if you want to see a video like that. I'll definitely throw that up soon. I ain't gonna lie, man. I told myself I was done with fives, and here I am. I keep buying them. Um, I'm just a liar, man. I'm a straight liar. There's both shoes. Cement fives or cement fives. And let me know down below what you think about them. Let me know if you picked them up or let me know if you just let them sit. Um, like everything else, these will be going on sale. So I feel like if you do like them and you're not in a rush to wear them, 
no need to go out and pick them up now i just wanted to give this review out to everyone anybody who wanted to see it and see that on foot so definitely be patient and you will probably be able to pick this up for 150 or even lower than that you might see these drop to 115 and hit the outlet so always good to take advantage of stuff that's sitting that's pretty much the way to go nowadays and uh it's just me out here wasting money but uh that's it uh on foot coming up next appreciate y'all rocking with me hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you do like the video hit that thumbs up and uh on foot coming up next i will see you next video peace